Hello folks, and welcome back to another review and thoughts on. Yeah, I've been gone for a while, so. But I did get to see a few new movies. Well, I don't know if they're new, but new to me anyway. I did see Doctor Sleep. It was okay. Um, I saw Don't Look Away, which was, eh, kind of lame. Um, I saw another one that was on Netflix. It was an old movie about a chick and the, her doppelganger in a mirror. Um, I think it's called Look Away. <laughs> Matter of fact, this one, you know, it's a it's a horror creature feature. Uh, it's directed by Damien Lebeck, and it, it has T Scout Taylor Compton from the Halloween remake, Rob Zombie's Halloween remake 1 and 2, from uh, a few other movies that she was in that I possibly reviewed. Um, that she was fine in this. They, okay, I'll say this. The acting in this from everyone is fine to decent to okay. Um, the creature effects is fine. Um, I do have issues, well, preference, I guess you can say it really. But my, for the most part, I liked the design of the monster in this. Cause spoil, I don't know if it's really a spoiler, it's on a poster. And it's in the name, Creature was Stirring. So there is a it's a creature feature, and it deals with Faith, who's a mother, a nurse, who's uh, okay. Faith pretty much keeps her daughter on a regimen of experimental drugs to fend off a mysterious, terrifying affliction. When two burglars try to rob their home on Christmas, they stumble upon their long kept family secrets. With monstrous consequences. And that's all I'll say on that. Now I'll say this. If you do like creature features. And this is rated R too. So you do get some gore. Granted they they keep the, the creature in the dark. Most of the time. Which was fine to me. I did like. There's issues I have. Okay there's issues I have with the monster design. Because. There's a scene with Ta Scout Taylor Compton's character where her character goes in this snow tunnel. Yes, a snow tunnel in this. She goes in this tunnel and she encounters the creature and you don't see it. You see glimpses of it in the dark, in the dark lighting, you know, dimming in and off and on. And I like that scene because it was, you know, granted her character's stupid, but you find out why. Um, but I, I like that scene because it was claustrophobic, it was atmospheric, and from a distance, the way the creature looks is very creepy. The, the face of it at first is what you uh, assume is the actual face of it, which it is a face, but it has two faces technically, I'll say that. So the, the monster was designed... More of a, a porcupine, which I don't know why they chose a porcupine uh, design type thing. It's not a porcupine monster, like animal, but it's, it's, concept, it's, it's um, designed, it's taking parts of a porcupine and mixing it with, you know, feast. Now, I, feast would be maybe feast and, uh, I don't know what other monster movies uh, maybe animal if you've seen the movie animal with uh, Kiki Palmer and Liz Elizabeth Gilly, Gillies um, so sort of like that but I, again I like the one face the top head of the monster looks really cool especially when you see it moving at first you don't see it moving you just see it flint you know flashes of it and then when you get closer to it, you find out it's actually uh, invented. It's in, in, uh, you know, a part of the creature's head. And you find out it's actually like a Godzilla design-ish thing. 
And this movie, it, it, you know, it takes place on Christmas, but it doesn't really feel like a Christmas horror movie, because they don't really mention it. I mean, granted, like, they have a Christmas tree up, and it's in the name, a creature was stirring. But, I don't know, like, I would like them to play up, I guess, maybe, like, it's a Christmas thing, or I don't know. And the characters, like the mom, the Faith character, she's a mixed bag for me because at first you you're not sure of what's going on with her. I mean, especially between her and her daughter Faith, who's like a mid-teen, like fifteen, sixteen, probably in that range. Um, like their their dynamic was kind of kind of. Uh, odd because it's like the daughter resents the mom at, in certain parts and then it's like they're caring and loving to each other at the same time so and I get why uh her daughter is the way she is towards the mom because but like some of the dialogue like at the beginning with them like her in the chat in the tub and she's talking about what was the worst thing you ever done before me or whatever and I'm like why are you asking this um so there's stuff like that. So some of the dialogue was kind of... If anything, I would say, like, when Scout Taylor Compton and her brother... Because you find out they're siblings. When you find out... When you see... When they first come into the movie... I'll say this. I liked the brother character more... Because I, I, I... He he gave me more chuckles than anything. And he seemed more decent than... And more well-minded than Scout, Scout Taylor Compton's character, who's very, I get, you know, religious stuff and all that, but her character was way too over the top with the religious stuff. I mean, the fact that she, like, you know, a monster's attacking you guys. We gotta save this girl who's just transformed in front of you into a creature. We're gonna stay, and we're gonna fight this thing. What? Or not fight it, but we're going to save that girl <laughs> somehow. And then it, it turns into like a Home Alone thing where um, stuff happens like that. and Lame stuff. And then, I mean, and then the ending. The ending is so. It doesn't make me angry, but at the same time, I'm a bit kind of annoyed because it's kind of confusing if you if you didn't pay attention to every every single detail of this movie because you really need to pay attention to a lot of stuff i mean especially when you when they try to put stuff together of with what the daughter was going through and then then we also go into the mom's past literally we go a few decades that back and I would just say this, the mom's not really likable, but she kind of is, but she's not by the end. Um, the charm, like her daughter character, she's fine, but then again, at the, at the beginning, her dialogue between, at her mom, like being kind of defiant. I get why, but then at the same time, it's like, um, and Scout Taylor Compton's character is just annoyingly annoyingly religious up in your face like forcing you to you know submit to or whatever convert or whatever and but and the brother like I liked I liked her brother more than I liked her because he seemed more you know laid back more fun more funny more smart at, at times than her um, but then that, that sort of, I can't even really say I liked his character because of what you find out at the very, very end, which leads me, which gives me even more questions of that. Um, because this movie, it's a, a allegory for addiction, you know, heroin, uh, drug addiction, uh, I guess schizophrenia, I guess, because she, whatever, but by the end, they sort of do try to bring everything together, 
and I'm not really satisfied with how it, you know, they tried to put everything in, in a nice bow, um, so yeah, it, the movie's edited fine, I do like the one, I liked, I wish this movie was more of a psychological film than it tried to be a creature feature, because I actually did like some of the, the character interactions between the daughter and brother of Scout Taylor Compton's character, when he's like talking to her through the, the closet door, and she's like explaining stuff, but, and giving like hints and, you know. But, yeah, I like that. I wish there was more of, is this woman, you know, actually, is her and her daughter nuts, or, you know. And then you're not really sure if, it says, like, in the synopsis, I guess Scout Taylor Compton and her brother are, I guess they're robbers, but they're also religious people. I don't understand. Like, they... They go in people's houses to try to convert them, but then also, I guess, try to steal from them as well. Like, I don't understand that <laughs> uh, motivation. I thought they were just two people that, you know, needed to get out of the blizzard, because there's an ongoing blizzard throughout this movie. Which comes into play by the end. Um... Yeah, I, I can't say I enjoyed this film. At the beginning, I was giving it, you know, leeway at first, and then as it went on, I was getting bored with it. Literally, with, even with the carnage. Barely really carnage, because really there's only one kill on, sc on screen, if you think about it. It's really one kill, because Scout Taylor Compton's character leaves. She doesn't even get killed. I guess you can say the blizzard killed her. Because she goes out in the cold with the coat, out the window. But then I'm like, when they show it by the end, it's like, so she must, so she jumped out the window? But, okay. Because, it, it, never mind. And I'm just going on and on. So, yeah, I can't say I love this one, or I don't hate it, but it's more of those, it was okay, it was, uh, okay watch. I wouldn't watch it again. <laughs> I think there's better... Creature feature film, especially for Christmas horror, you know, stuff, so, yeah. Uh, 